Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are the different ways in Selenium to verify the existence of an element on a web page? Let me answer. In Selenium, we have different ways to verify whether a particular element is present on a web page. Okay, so we can use any of this. Uh, the straightforward command we have is is displayed command. I'll show you practically now. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID. Here, we have already written some Selenium code for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser window, and for opening this application URL, okay? So till here, in the browser, this application URL is open. Now, on this application URL page, I would like to verify whether this particular button is displayed on the page or not, okay? I would, I would like to check whether this button is there on the page or not. So for that, the direct command we have in Selenium web driver is, is displayed command. This command will return true if this element is available on the web page. If this element is not available on the web page, this particular command will return false. Okay, so let's do that. So I'll write down uh, driver dot find element y dot. Here, let's inspect this button that I would like to verify whether it is uh, existing on the web page or not. Inspect this button. So here we have an ID. Copy this ID. Come back here and write down by dot ID, give the ID locator and say dot is displayed. Okay. Driver dot find element by dot ID dot is displayed. Okay. This command I'm using. This command is going to return true if this particular button is available on the web page. If this is returning false, the button is not available on the web page. So here I'll simply write down Boolean value, Boolean status. Okay. Button display status is displayed is going to return either true or false. Okay, that's why Boolean is a return type. Now I'll write down here if, if in circular brackets I'll give status, if status, just write down here, system.out.println button is displayed on the web page. Else I'll write down system.out.println button is not displayed on the web page. So with this command, we can find out whether the button exists on the, or an element exists on the web page or not. So after that, I'll simply quit the browser. Driver dot, which that's it. Now run the code, right click, run as Java application. Okay, let's see. Button is displayed on the web page for printed. That means this command has returned true because button exists on the web page. Okay, so this is one of the way to check whether the button is existing on the web page or not. I'm going to show up some other alternative ways uh, by using the size command. We can do that. So what I'm going to do is instead of find element, I'm going to say find elements. Okay, instead of find element, I'm going to say find elements here. And here instead of this one, I'll say dot size. Okay dot size find elements will return you list of uh, web elements and dot size and here return type should be int int uh int uh, some size uh s uh int s otherwise okay if this s is greater than zero okay if it is zero means the there is no element okay if the size is returning some value either one or generally one only in this case because this is only one element on the page so if the size is one at least, then what happens? The element is present on the web page. Okay. If S is greater than zero, then button is displayed on the web page. Button is not displayed on the web page if S is uh, either equal to zero or less than zero. Okay. So this is another way. How can you use the size command here? Because when I hover the mouse on find elements, the return type is list of web elements. Okay. List of web element. So with the list, we have a command in Java known as size, which will find how many elements are there. Since only one element, if this button is really present, one element will be there. So size will be one. Since one is greater than zero, it will print button is displayed on the web page. Okay. So this is another way. Using the size command of Java, we can do this. Let's 
let's see just see here you see button is displayed on the web page got printed that means the size has written one and one is greater than zero which is true so button is displayed on the web page so what is the other way i'll remove this code the other way is i'll just remove all this stuff and even this command also i'll remove okay like this driver dot find element i'll put this driver dot find find element here again i'll change it to find element this this statement i'll write inside the try block try end it here so if this element uh, is not available on the web page this statement is going to return no such element exception okay so here if no such element exception is not coming this statement is not requiring no such element exception then here i'll print it out the next statement will be printed as a button is displayed on the web page otherwise here i'll write patch block if the exception is coming means which exception you'll get no such element exception e and uh, something i'll just say system dot order print here and i'll simply say button is not displayed on the web page for the mouse and import it from selenium library don't import it from java.util import this no such element exception from selenium okay now run this code see what's happening if this element is really present then exception will not be triggered with this statement otherwise this statement will trigger an exception known as no such element exception and it will go to the catch block and handle it this is another way to find out whether the element is existing on the web page or not. You see, button is displayed on the web page or printed. So you can use any of this ways. Uh, in real time, we generally use this display is displayed command. If not, uh, in some situations, you may have to use either size or try catch blocks. Up to you. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.